Hey, this is Lucinda Cross from Activate, and I'm here to talk about two things. One is this leadership program, this leadership class that I have on www.lucindacross.com forward slash class. This is my learning suite, and inside the learning suite, one of the classes that I'm offering is the leadership, lead her ship class. And this is for women on the front line to learn how to lead like a first lady and operate like a president. Am I a first lady? Not at all. Am I the president? Not at all. Have I studied the method and the way that they operate? Of course. Am I willing to share the information that I have? Yes. So if you are interested in being a part of this leadership program so that we can step up bigger, so that we can stand in our power and speak our truth, so that we can uplift, encourage, inspire, empower, and educate the next person, then this class is for you. So go on over there, check it out, and see if, if there's a class besides that one that you're interested in joining. The second thing is, I had the first call yesterday, and two things really stood out for me, and this is Black History Month, and so when we look back into our history, we look at all the greats before us. And one of the things that they all stood on was courage. Having enough courage to face the giants, having enough courage to move forward when you don't see a vision, when you don't even see the light at the end of the tunnel. You have to move forward and be willing to go hungry for your cause. And that's what each and every one of these people that we celebrate, these awesome people, these awesome individuals that we celebrate for Black History Month have done. They had the courage and they've passed that courage down. And so we have to pick up the baton of courage and keep pushing forward. We have to stand in our leadership or lead him ship positions so that we all can have a stronger community and a stronger economy. But it starts with you. It starts with your mindset. And here's two truths that I want to leave you with today for this week. The first truth is understanding that you have what it takes. I don't care what it looks like right now. I don't care what it smells like right now. I don't care what's in your pocket. You have what it takes. You have what it takes to create that strategy. You have what it takes and you're worth the effort. You are worth the effort. The person that you are about to support is worth the effort. So the second truth that I want you to stand on is no one else is going to do this for you. You have to take that first step. Once you take that first step and you stand firm and you have the courage and a strong belief in your cause or whatever it is that you're doing, service or product, you have to have a strong enough belief in it. That's how you build that power of influence. That's how you build that circle of influence, that circle of power, people who believe in you. So when it's time for you to fight that giant, you're not there like David, you have the courage, but you're not the only one there that's slinging that slingshot. You have a circle of influence, a circle of cheerleaders, people who believe in the cause, who's willing to sling their, their slingshots along with you to knock that huge giant down. Was David scared? Of course he was scared. But did he move forward past his fears? Yes. Did he look at that giant and say, there's no way that I'm not going to miss him because he's just that big? Yes, so you have to come out swinging. You have to be willing to take your slingshot and give it your best shot and say, you know what? There's an obstacle in front of me, but I'm going to knock it down because I have a greater belief in my cause. I have a greater belief in myself. I have a greater belief in the mission that God has given me. So stand on that courage today. Be like our forefathers and foremothers that were before us. Who, did, who stopped at nothing. They were relentless. They were radical. You want people to think that you're absolutely out of your mind when it comes to your cause. Yes, this thing right here, this cause, I'm willing to go hungry for. This cause, I'm willing to downsize for. This cause, this cause may break my bank. Yes, this cause, you have to believe in it strong enough. And those who are with you have to understand that as well. Listen, if you are willing to join me on this journey, we may not eat tomorrow. If you're willing to join me on this journey, we may be walking on foot. If you're willing to join me on this journey, we may not have lights tomorrow, but I will tell you one thing, we're moving for change and we're leaving a trailblaze behind. And when we get to where, when we get to our destination, we will all have a great celebration. So that's what I would like for you to think about. Where's your courage going to take you? Not where you're at now, not who's on your side now, but those who are willing to come out swinging and come out slinging their slingshots and they're willing and they're not going to complain when they're in the wilderness 
and there's no water. So until next time, you know what I always say, hashtag activate. See you online. Bye.